Vice President Kamala Harris is unveiling her plans today to help lower costs for millions of Americans. The key planks of her economic agenda include an expansion of the child tax credit, $25,000 in down payment support for first-time homebuyers, and a federal ban on price gouging on food and groceries. The Democratic nominee will lay out these proposals in a speech in the battleground state of North Carolina today, where she is also expected to call for the construction of 3 million new housing units during her first presidential term if she's elected. CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Nancy, we have been waiting to hear some substance of these proposals. What can you tell us? All right, we'll go to Wireless. Well, I can tell you there are some uh, details, some fine print that we're still waiting for, Lindsay, but I can give you some of the broad strokes. Uh, we know, as you mentioned, that she's going to be heavily focused today on housing. So on that $25,000 credit for first-time home buyers, particularly for uh, individuals who are the first generation uh, to be living here in the U.S. and purchasing a home. Beyond that, there's also a tax credit for home builders that focus on building uh, starter homes, less expensive homes that those first-time buyers can actually afford. Um, and then beyond that, an expansion of the child tax credit, as you mentioned, uh, up to $6,000 for newborn, for families with a newborn. Uh, so that's a lot larger than uh, we've heard in the past from the Biden-Harris administration. Uh, and then on top of all that, we're going to hear a little bit more about a proposal that she has for preventing price gouging, uh, particularly when it comes to meat processors. Uh, the Harris campaign argues that part of the reason that grocery costs have been so high the past few years is because these meat processors, uh, there are only a, a few major processors that control the industry. They say they are keeping prices artificially high. Uh, the question we have, of course, is how exactly do they plan to tackle that? Are we talking about price controls here? We don't have a lot of details yet, uh, but perhaps she'll shine a light on that in the speech that she gives here in a couple of hours. How much or how little do you expect um, she will connect herself to President Biden's approach to the economy? A lot of the proposals that she's laying out here today are expansions of proposals that Biden himself made back in 2020. So, for example, uh, he proposed and they enacted during COVID an expanded child tax credit, $3,600 per child. That was allowed to lapse. She's proposing bringing it back, uh, it's something that Democrats were not able to push through Congress the past couple of years. So it, it, it's a certainly a heavy lift now as well. And J.D. Vance, when he was on Face the Nation, the Republican vice presidential nominee last weekend, he proposed a $5,000 per child tax credit. So she's upping the ante now saying that for newborns she would make it six. In general though, uh, she's not radically diverging from what President Biden has proposed or what he has done. She is simply uh, making some of these proposals more generous than what he proposed four years ago. I realize, Nancy, in this next question we could spend 60 minutes on this topic, um, but I want to talk about how different her proposals are from what we're hearing from former President Trump. At a press conference yesterday, Trump hit Harris hard on the economy, saying if she's elected, the worst is yet to come. How much do they diverge? Right. I mean, he really went over the top yesterday. Uh, he argued that her policies were destroying the world, not just America, but the world. So he's kind of getting bigger and bigger every time he talks about this. And he also argued, uh, without any um, evidence, of course, that uh, if she becomes president, that we will experience a uh, 1929 style economic crash, uh, which is you know, sort of surprising to predict, given that the, uh, the stock market right now, while she is vice president, is near a record high. Uh, but nevertheless, he's going to have a lot to say about some of the policies that she's proposing here today. He will argue uh, that they're very progressive, uh, that, that they are examples of uh, her San Francisco liberal roots. Um, he has proposed uh, a 10 to 20 percent across the board tariff on imports, which Democrats argue will only make prices higher. He's obviously uh, pushing for an extension of the Trump tax cuts as well. So their policies could not be more different. And we're waiting for him to fill in more details of his own economic policy. Um, we've been waiting, for example, for his health care plan 
since 2015. So it's hard sometimes to compare the proposals head to head. You just uh, you, know, you can look at what he did when he was president the first time, what she's done over the past four years, and um, you know, and, and their proposals could not be more opposed. Nancy Cordes, appreciate your reporting. Thank you. And a reminder, the Democratic National Convention kicks off next week. CBS News will have special coverage of the events in Chicago starting Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern.